Hey guys, I'm Katie Cleary with World Animal News and we're here live in North Hollywood at the Racing Extinction premiere. And I'm here exclusively with Leilani Munter and she is an amazing, amazing badass race car driver. And she's also in the film Racing Extinction. We're here at the premiere. And tell me a little bit about your involvement with the film. So yeah, I'm just incredibly honored to be a part of this project. I get to drive this very, very cool uh, James Bond sort of modified version of a Tesla Model S that's sitting behind us. And uh, we're using this car as a mobile projection vehicle. So we're trying to raise awareness about endangered species around the world. And uh, this car has a high definition FLIR camera that comes out the front that actually makes carbon dioxide and methane visible to the human eye. And then the projection system that comes out the back allows me to project whatever I want on buildings, on mountains. Um, we're projecting a lot of uh, endangered species onto buildings. You might have seen what we did at the Empire State Building a few weeks ago. And uh, yeah, so it's really, this car is sort of an activist and I'm the lucky activist that gets to drive her. We are driving thousands and thousands of species to extinction at a rate that is, is completely abnormal. So they actually call this era, it's called the Anthropocene. And Anthropocene translates to the age of man. It's where our impact on the planet is actually affecting the fossil record of the future. And so, yeah, when you see these animals, you know, and, and Luis Ahoyas' goal, the director of the film, is to really bring the beauty of these animals and, and sort of confront people, you know, on the Empire State Building and the United Nations Building and, and let them look these animals in the eye and face them and, and realize that, you know, do we want to lose these animals? Do you want to have your kids and your grandkids not know what these animals look like because we're, we're driving them off the face of the planet? Extinction is forever. We can't bring them back. And uh, I think that people don't get that. They think that, oh, there's a lot in captivity. So, you know, there's, there's really no need to protect them in the wild, but it's the complete opposite of that. We need to protect them in the wild because you can't reintroduce them from captivity into the wild. So. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I really hope a lot of people see this film and I hope it, it touches you and it, it makes people think about their daily choices because, you know, with 7 billion people on the planet, our day-to-day -day decisions have an incredible impact. Tell so. our viewers, um, you know, how they can help, you know, be a part of the solution. Yeah, so the hashtag we're using is start with one thing and we're asking people to really just think about the decisions they make every day. So one of the things I like to highlight because I think it's the easiest thing for everybody to do is to actually adopt a plant-based diet. Um, so three times a day, you have the option to leave meat and dairy products out of your, uh, off of your plate. And, um, and that has a huge effect. Not only is it, is it good for your body, it's also good for the animals that we share the planet with. And it's also an, an incredible reduction in your carbon footprint. So a lot of people associate their carbon footprint with the car that they drive and what kind of fuel they're burning. And it's great. I have an electric car. I drive my, I charge my electric car on, on solar energy. Um, but really it's much, it's a, it's a very easy thing to do to just stop eating meat and dairy products. And it has a huge, huge impact. So, um, that's my, my one thing that I ask people to do. If they can just do one thing, you know, that can make a huge impact. Thank you so much for joining us. Please visit racingextinction.com for more information.